Avade and welcome back everybody. Sometimes the most effective lessons in life are so simple you don't even give them the proper mind they deserve. Now Sergeant Paul Tapao is here with GPD and Sarge that was exactly what you and your colleagues at GPD educated us this week on how to have situational awareness and stranger danger. Like we we put that live on Facebook so many people were watching everybody was like wow I never realized huh? just how easy it is to be aware. It it is you know I mean when when we were asked to develop a curriculum for uh, stranger uh, stranger danger presentation right we utilize what we learned in the Guam Police Department and of course life experience. And one thing that we, we stayed focused on was not getting confrontation, not getting physical with um, you know, the assailant or the suspect. And it really, when we broke everything down and we were looking for ways in which people can grasp the, the technique, we used danger and we, we showcased that time and distance, assessing, being aware of what's going on, how do you escape and evade, and of course, using everything to your advantage. And, um, you know, you saw it firsthand, and you know after I I watched it again, and at at full motion in which they were doing it, it 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 really painted its own picture in itself. Some people were even putting on on Facebook, and not in a joking way, but they were like, "Wow, you know, I've seen that in movies." You were referencing yeah. Bruce Lee on a couple of occasions, but they're like, you know, Jason Bourne, where you use a book or a three by five index card, or in you know um, in our situation. Uh, Megan, the actress that was playing, you know, the victim, she used a sweater and yeah. that, that can be an effective escape and evasion tool. It is, it is. And it really is you being aware of how you're going to react to the situation. A lot of times when people become victims of a crime, they're, they're caught off guard. And it really boils down to hunter or predator prey concept, right? It's, it's these guys, the criminals, the first element is they use concealment. They don't want to get caught whether they're going to commit the act or they're preparing for the act or what they do after the act is they don't want to get caught. And the second is they use the, you know, ba basic, basic, um, you know, warfare 101. It's, it's the element of surprise. Mm. And when you wrap yourself around your environment, you become that element, you know, you take that away from, you take that away from them and you use that to your advantage. When you're prepared, it's like now he or she has to think about their next move but you're already prepared because you got your moves all mapped out what do i do in this case scenario what what's the best approach you know first thing is i need to stay safe so you should have a goal that goal mindset will keep you safe and the goal mindset will provide that that mind uh that mind power to allow you to do what you need to accomplish and teaching that it's you can teach that to as young as grade school to as old as uh, independent elders mm -hmm. and what they can really do to 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 stay safe and I got some, uh, a few DMs actually on Twitter and people were saying, you know, when I first hear about self-defense, yeah. I always think, put your dukes up and yeah. let's engage, you know, somebody that's trying to uh, put me in a dangerous situation. But they were like, wow, I've, and now, now I'm telling my kids, I'm telling my family members, I'm telling my students mm -hmm. that, you know, self-defense also is just removing yourself from the situation. It doesn't always have to be like direct conflict. Absolutely. And you remember how we were talking and about... And a lot of people don't even know that. Yeah. 90% is mental, 10% is all physical. If you can think your way out of a situation, then by all means, you know, that's the safest route. That's the best route to take is being able to maneuver your way out of it without get, getting physical because you never know, you know, that guy may be an expert in some sort of art. Mm -hmm. He may have, be, have so much strength. He may be really high on ice that it's, it's like you may not be able to take him regardless of your skill set. Don't take that chance. Never take that chance, you know, create an opportunity in which you can escape. And, um, you know, we want it, we wanted to break it down simplify it to where we can, like I said, where we can teach this to grade school and teach it to the independent elders. So understanding what you can do to stay safe, this is something that you can apply to kids coming back to school, teaching this to kids who walk to and from. They're teaching this as part of, uh, you know, as part of a self-defense uh, uh, course that you can use without even getting physical. And a really good comment was presented at the end of our live stream because somebody, you know, watching in Kentucky mm -hmm. was saying, and you know, um, this is good for boys and girls. Yeah. So it's it's the young, it's the old as well, and it's of either gender. It is, it is. You know, everybody and anybody can use it. Anybody, you know, when when we broke it down, you, you got to remember the people that we that I have in my team. These guys, to include Officer Susie Santos, they really put a lot of thought into it, and um, the the suggestions and everything and what we use. I have two of the officers that were there. These guys have paramilitary actual combat service. You know, um, our expertise in law enforcement and, of course, our expertise with our, our extracurricular activity, whether it be in a martial arts or whether it be in jiu-jitsu, but understanding what we need to do to teach, to properly teach uh, the, you know, the audience and how to stay safe without even getting physical because 
The important thing is that you saw Megan, she didn't get hands on. She provided that distance, she utilized everything that she can to remain safe and she was able to draw the attention. And, you know, I, I, again, you know, this, this was a thought out process. Um, we took the acronym of danger and we broke everything down and it just fell into play for some reason. Mm. Uh, do we have a crime of the week this week? Yes, sir? yes. This one is a robbery that occurred and pay attention to the crime of the week because um, the victim in this case was actually being robbed and he, you know, he screamed for help and it started the suspect and the suspect fled without even taking the bag. But, you know, again, we're reaching out. The Guam Crime Stoppers is asking help from the community. If anybody was in that area, you know, please provide information so that we can bring closure to this case. Okay, so the criminal did run themselves and mm -hmm. they're still on the run. So here's what you can do to help catch this person. On Thursday, August 22nd, our officers from the Tumon Precinct Command entertained a robbery complaint that occurred at the parking lot of Pacific Place in Tumon. The preliminary police report suggests that around 11 p.m., the victim was walking in the lower parking garage of Pacific Place when the victim was approached by an unknown man. The male individual then grabbed the victim's bag where a struggle ensued with the victim and the suspect over control over the bag. During the course of the struggle, the victim was struck in the face in which the victim was able to retain the bag and began yelling for help. The suspect, later described as possibly being local, was last seen fleeing on foot. He was described as standing about 5'7 to 5'8 and was last seen wearing a light-colored shirt and dark pants. If anyone has any information about this crime or any other crime, you can call our 24-hour hotline at 477-HELP, that's 4357, or submit a tip online at guam.crimestoppersweb.com. All calls will remain completely confidential, and a cash reward of up to $1,000 could be paid if the information provided leads to an arrest and a grand jury indictment. Your call does make a difference. All right, Sarge, we appreciate it as always. So um, if anyone would like more information on this, we highly suggest you guys go to YouTube or Facebook and yeah. watch the session that we had on Crime Time. Uh, if people would like more information about tactics and techniques that they can talk with their kids or with, mm -hmm. you know, with their siblings and everything, about how to have situational awareness and how to escape. Give us a call. You know, call 472-8911, ask for me, and they can easily connect you to my line. So, um, you know, I have a direct email. They can talk to the man himself. I have a direct email with, uh, you know, with the Department of Education. So... Uh, this curriculum is what we're going to be bringing in. You know, Halloween's coming right around the corner. And uh, this is one of the things we want to teach. You know, we wanted to bring this into the opening of the school year. But again, we had to really work and, 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 and see where our flaws are and everything and understanding, you know, practice. You know, in order for you to master the technique, you got to keep practicing it. So um, I'm on the DOE email uh, listing. If you guys are teachers and you want this to be taught into uh, taught to your students, give me a call. You know, reach out to me and everything. And we can make the arrangements. To okay, final question, Paul. Do you ever sleep? <laughs> I do. You know, when I go home and everything, it's, 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 that's my time. You know, right. my family, they are my structure. They are my foundation. So it really, you know, I, thank you for asking that. <laughs> <laughs> well, as they say, a policeman's work never ends. It, it, it's, you know, it's the community. We, we strive to serve the community like we always, like what we say in the office, you know, the community is the police and the police is the community. All so. right. Well, thanks so much. We'll see you next time. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. That guy, ladies and gentlemen, has your back 24-7, and we'll see you right after this.